So we want to show you how to do registration for your scramble paired event. And so this is a little bit different than your normal tournament where kids are coming in and weighing in and whatnot. Uh, the one thing I will say, if you're doing a middle school or youth league and you have teams coming kind of from all over the place, it's a great idea. And one thing we advise is to have the coach be in contact with the coaches throughout your week. Of course, um, there's a video here showing how you can email uh, with them uh, any specific information that you have. Uh, the other thing is a great idea is to give those coaches a call to verify their rosters, say right when they get on their bus. So your event's starting at four. You know this team; these teams are on the bus at three. Uh, have them give you a call, say, hey, Johnny's not here. You can start um, editing uh, those uh, rosters from there. Um, in order to make those roster changes, um, and we can do this either at this point or after um, the, uh, the coaches, uh, the teams show up, or probably both, but to make roster changes, it's pretty simple. I would just click on a team. I would find the wrestler. I could also go to the wrestlers or participants page and search them um, this way as well. But if I know the team, and I'm going team by team, let's say that Caleb is not here. I could just click on him and delete him. Let's say that Caleb is not actually a sixth grader, he's a seventh grader, or his weight's different. This is how I could remove or edit a particular wrestler. Um, the other thing that I could do is if I had a longer list, again, from this participants page, I could do the same sort of thing by searching, and maybe I would just search that particular team. And maybe I know that um, these two, I guess maybe brothers, are not here. I could check mark them, then I could click this delete selected participants. And all I would do is click delete, and then those two wrestlers are gone. In the same token, if for some reason I needed to add a wrestler, I could do that in the same way that I do for any event. I click Add Participant, fill out the information, and away we go. Now, the one thing that I do, I do also want to cover in this is uh, the weigh-in sheet. The weigh-in sheet is um, not just for weigh-ins, uh, lots of great ways that you could utilize that, but for your scramble paired events, this is a really good way um, to have coaches see the information that's in our system right when they walk in the door as one last final check. So um, in the registration menu, I'm going to go to uh, printing and then weigh-in sheets. And this opens this page, uh, if I can get this a little better on the screen, sure. So now here's, here's the weigh-in sheet. You'll notice these drop-downs, there's all kinds of information that I can select from there. Uh, the, the critical ones, or I guess what we feel are the most important ones, I believe I have set correctly here, but you could, you could collect or excuse me, display more information if you'd like. But I want to have team, first name, last name, of course. I want to have the group. This is going to tell me what grade this wrestler is in. Uh, I want to have the actual weight and the separation criteria. Okay. So those are the critical pieces. If you wanted other items in there that you know you've collected, you certainly can do that. Um, so when I go by the sort weigh-in sheet by, uh, I want to sort it by team and then by name and then by group. Um, these second two probably aren't as critical, but by name, just going to give them an alphabetical list. And I do want to, I do want a page break after the team. So when I print this, it's going to print a sheet, separate sheet with their roster for each um, team. So I'm just going to save this. Um, there's a few other pieces of information here or uh, settings that you probably don't need to adjust. You could change the font if you know if it, you needed a bigger or smaller. But then when I go to view this weigh-in sheet, you'll notice that there is kind of this break right here. And if I do a print, so I would go to print, and now you're going to see kind of what this looks like. I would send it to my printer. Here's this first team. Go to the second team. Here's Lakeland. Here's their wrestlers. And then um, because it's kind of small, if I zoom in, you'll notice that there's the information that we wanted. Um, if there were any blanks here, of course, we'd want to find out from that coach, um, you know, what the actual weight was, what their separation criteria or skill level was. Um, but this is a great way. Hand this to the coach. He can check it off. Um, count them. Make sure you have the same number in, in, in your event. And then you should be ready uh, to move on to the next step and get the scramble pairings created.